Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can easily use when I work. So when you're going to enter when I work, you're going to see that you need to like enter your name and email. So I'm going to click get started. Then I'm going to simply write a cell number here. Then I'm going to choose in which I'm working. Where do you work? So the way I'll see how many people do schedule one to five. Start your free trial. Give me a second. I'll just find the number here. And then we will continue. Like this. Okay. And now you just have to wait for a while until it's going to load. I'm going to create a new password. And here you are. So customize your when I work experience. So select your industry to help us quickly set up your when I work account. So I'm in technology. So I'm going to leave it like it is. You can switch to whatever you want. Then you're going to click next, select scheduled positions, choose the positions you schedule in your workspace. You can always edit or add new positions later. So you can go customer service, engineer, finance, manager, marketing, office manager, sales, you choose which one you want. So I'll be clicking here, let's say with sales, customer service, other related positions. I can go also with, I don't know, technical support, or you can create your own custom position if you want to. Click next. Here, uh, you're gonna how many total employees work for your organization. And what you can do is like Marcus employee, enter email. And then you choose a position. Let's say sales. And then I'm going to choose, you can add new positions here. You can add more employees, how many you want. Click next. And right when we're here, schedule setup. When does your work week start? So my week start on Monday or Sunday. Again, you choose. Create shift templates. What are your commonly scheduled shifts? We will save these for you to quickly gain. So again, you can see 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., right? It's like traditional. Click next. You can choose whatever time you want, of course. And here we go. So in the moment when you're going to enter on the right bottom, you would see some advices here if you want. I'm going to cancel it because I don't really need it. If you want, you can go through that and then uh, when you're going to see on dashboard on the top left, you're going to see notifications and then you're going to see dashboard in dashboard. Uh, you would see snapshots, schedules and all the, like important analytics, right? Then when you're going to click next to the dashboard is scheduler. And here you would see like shifts here and you can go to top left again and click from no shifts to add to shift to publish. So first you can add a schedule and then here we go. So here we are in our schedule menu. So when I went to scheduler, schedule, arrow, add a schedule if you want to. And you can add a new schedule here, name, 15 hours a week and we would have like our new schedule. So let's go back to scheduler and I can see it right here. What I can do is in dashboard again, if I would click on the top left, I can create a shift right here next to the add employee. 
and I can more I can add more things here. So I can simply click plus here, create a shift. So I gotta see Marcus Stone here. Marcus Stone. Voila, here we go. Click plus again. And I got qualified. I can create custom shift. And again, same thing. Time, position, tax, shift task. So I can literally enter it. Same thing, Marcus employee. You can see that you got qualified for this that we created. I can create a custom shift. And then enter time from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. 20 minutes would be unpaid break. Position, let's sell sales. Tax, I don't have any. Shift task lists, I can create it if I want to. Save and publish. As you can see, we got sales. We got this thing here. And as you can see, it's pretty great. So I published also this thing here, recipients, and then I would like resend notifications. So if you would like create your schedule right here, what you could, what you could do is to, uh, to all sell position, technical positions, then sales positions, I would resend also with message when they are going to actually work, right? So this is how would it work? Press the notification and you would have it right here and they would see when they should work, like everything. Then you have like options here. You can view shifts by employee, position, coverage, view shift colors by, shift position. Forecast tool is like just forecast. Then we have positions here tags, job sites, you can add a job site and task list. So I can quickly come here, add a task list. I can add shift tasks or team tasks. Continue. Opa, sorry, sorry, sorry. Task list, shift task, continue. Give you list a name. Uh, YouTube tasks, continue, task name, add, and YouTube video, add next, add it when adding or editing a shift. Okay, here we go. So now we get a task list. Let's say that I would edit the task here. Shift task list, YouTube task. See how simple was that, right? Click save. You can also repeat the shift every week. Save. Your update repeating shift. Do you want to update all instances? Update to all. So this is pretty much it, how we do it. So, and this is pretty much it, how we do it. Next to the scheduler, you're going to see attendance. Help us configure the settings to match your business by selecting your pay period and clock options. So, that's something you can do. If you want, I can create a tutorial on it. So, I just showed you how we can use the scheduler here. And then work chat, that's something you can use too. And you can start chatting with your team. Now, when you would come here on the top right, you would see the time off shift requests, open shift requests. And then we would have like employees here, positions, schedules and everything that you can edit. And that's pretty much it, how we can use it. And you can add the positions here and everything right here. So this is like the quick explanation how we can use the scheduler 
and how you can use when I work. Thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.